Hello stamping friends, welcome back to another video in the July 2015 online card class. We're going to be putting this card together on the video and again your PDF has instructions of what to do and I have been forgetting to stamp inside some of my cards so if I forget to show you on the video I do apologize. I'm trying to keep the videos short and sweet um, but you have a picture on your PDF that reminds you to do that. Really fun and makes the card totally complete. All right, so here's my card, and see, I haven't stamped in there yet. Maybe I'll remember on this video. All right, so for your card kit, for this um, for this card, you'll get your envelope, of course. You'll get your card base, and then you're going to get a piece of Baker's Twine, a piece of the Mint Macaron ribbon. However, I must point out, your ribbon may be a different color. These ribbons have been flying off the shelf with Stampin' Up! and I've had several be on back order and so I've had to kind of change my cards a little bit so I ask for your patience. If you don't get this color, you'll get one. If it's still the, It'll still be the same pretty ribbon but it'll be a different shade. You're going to get a piece of Whisper White cardstock, a piece of Tip Top Taupe and I wanted to show you what I used I'll show you in just a second. We're using the watercolor wings bundle with the framelits. Okay, that's what you're going to be using to do your stamping with. Okay, so now let me show you. I hope that you all have the new catalog. If you don't, let me know. You can contact me and tell me um, and we will get you one. All right, so this is the folder that I used and it is on page 174 in the catalog. Okay. And these are all the embossing folders, and you can tell which ones are new. This is a new one. It's called Elegant Dots. Really, really fun and whimsical. You're going to want to add some of these to your orders each month so that you have a lot of choices to play with. All right, let's put our card together. On the previous videos, I've showed you how to do the stamping, so I'm not going to actually stamp on this video. I'd kind of like to keep one of the videos in the series a little bit shorter. So let's make it be this one. All right, so first we've run our paper through the embossing folder, and so then we're going to take our piece of ribbon, and we're going to place it about right there. And then we're going to turn it over. Now you can attach this different ways. This ribbon is so delicate, it works really well with our snail. If my snail would dispense. There we go, let me do it that way. All right, so I'm just going to wrap it like that. Whoops. Wrap it like that. And this ribbon's a bit stretchy, okay? So you don't want to uh, pull it too taut because, see, it changes the pattern. So just nice and loose. Make sure it's straight across. All right, there we have that. So let's go ahead and attach this layer. Now, for this layer, I want to use the Tombow multi-purpose glue that we like to use. The reason that I like to use the liquid glue is because it gets down in all those grooves and my card will not fall apart. And that makes me happy. So we're gonna layer this on the tip top taupe. So I will point out, if we have to change your color of ribbon, your layer may be different. Although the tip top taupe is pretty um, neutral and it would go with anything. But just keep in mind, your colors may be a little bit different due to the fact that the ribbon is on back order. Hopefully I have enough to do everybody's and we won't even have that issue. All right, so now we're going to attach it to our card base. By the way, when you put your snail on, you don't have to solidly add snail. Um, adhesive, your card will uh, not fall apart if you, if you don't do that. So I'm just going to center that right there. Okay. And then I'm going to take my baker's twine. Now, in your kit, your baker's twine will be cut. When I have a new roll that I can play with, either my ribbon or my baker's twine, one tip that I like to do is that I like to leave it on the on the roll or the bolt because then I don't have as much waste. All right, so see how this ribbon is nice and, um, uh, what do you call it, stretchy. So I'm going to just take my baker's twine and I'm going to tie a knot. 
kind of gather it there, and then a little bow. Like that. And then I can take my ribbon scissors. I call them ribbon scissors. They're not really ribbon scissors. Um, Stampin' Up! calls them craft scissors, I believe, in the catalog. But they really cut uh, fabric and ribbon really well. So that's they are dedicated to that. I can adjust that later if I want to. I've already cut out my butterfly, but I still need to stamp the body. And I'm using the Tip Top Taupe. I apologize if my hair is in the camera. It's kind of hard to see. With the camera on top of me, it's hard to get on top of that. So see, I was off just a little bit. But normally when I'm stamping, I don't make it that off. But it is hard because the camera's in my way. Okay, so I'm just, oh look, <clears throat> another thing for me to show you. Stampin' Up's cardstock is amazing. It's two-sided. If you make a mistake, just turn it over. Stamp on the other side. All right, so we need some dimensionals. So see, I don't, I don't just say, do as I, you know, do as I say, you know, not as I do. I use the other side of that paper, absolutely. Dig your fingernails in, release that backing. And then I can attach it right there. All right, so the only thing we need left is the sentiment. You've got a stamping diagram, and so here is my extra paper left over that we're going to just keep using to um, stamp just for you. Just for you. And I'm just going to... This is going to... This is not going to be a banner edge. This is going to be a straight edge. So what I mean by that is um, I can come as close to the edges as possible, and that prevents me from having to do so much cutting. So... I do this and then cut it off like that add some more dimensionals and we are almost done and here we go put this on here put it right about there Let's stamp the inside. Yay, I remembered. All right. Speaking of stamping, I do have a paper piercing mat. If you don't have one of these, please get one. You're going to be a lot happier with your photopolymer stamps if you have one of these. All right, so on this one, I'm going to, let's see, how do I want to do it? I'm going to ink up in the mint macaron, and I'm going to stamp off. And then I'm going to stamp it about right there. I have both of my smaller stamps on the same block. You don't have to do that, but for the video, it sure makes it easy for me. And then I'm gonna line this up and stamp right there. And then my sentiment that I'm using, I'm going to use Tip Top Taupe. And the card says, just for you, Little moments with you matter a lot to me. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.